Rona and the Moon. Rona was a beautiful woman who lived with her husband and their two sons in a little kaina beside the sea. Rona's husband loved her dearly, but sometimes her bad temper and her angry way of growling at him and their boys upset them all. <laughs> One day, Rona's husband said to her, "The moon is good for hunting and fishing tonight. I'll take our boys with me to the island across the bay." It will be many fish to be caught by now. We won't be back until tomorrow night. Stay here and wait for us until we return. They loaded their nets, lines, hooks, and bait into a canoe and paddled away. The next day, Rana began to prepare the hangi to cook the meal in. First, she cleared out ashes, embers, and cooking stones from the pit dug into the ground that she would prepare the meal in. Then she placed a small stack of sticks and dry leaves at the bottom of the pit. Next, she gently put the cooking rocks on top of the pile of wood. As it began to grow dark, the heated cooking stones glowed red. She was about to put food on the stones, then she discovered that she's run out of water. So she went to fetch some water at the river. It was a long path, and the full moon is shining. She could see everything clearly under the silver light. Suddenly, the moon went behind a dark cloud. It became so dark that she couldn't see a thing. She tripped over on the root of a nail tree and spilled all her water. Rona was in so much pain and so angry at the moon for hiding his light that she shouted at him, "Poko koha," which means "boil your head." This was a terrible curse and a great insult. That was very rude," tweeted little bird. Don't say such thing to our moon. Mind your own business. Shoo! Shouted Rana. The moon heard her rude words and came down from the sky. He took hold of Rana and began to lift her from the ground. Rana grabbed the top of a nail tree and hung onto it as tight as she could. The moon was so strong. That the tree's roots were torn from the ground. When Rona's family returned from their fishing trip, there was no sign of her. Their meal lay uncooked by the flickering flame of the oven. They searched everywhere. It wasn't until they looked up at the night sky that they realized their angry wife and mother had been rude once too often. There. On the face of the full moon was Rana, with the nail tree and a gourd in her hand.